So today we are at Featherston Rovers for the uh, life of the kid, all stars charity gig. As you can see, I have come dressed as the Grinch. <laughs> but we're also thinking all about rugby league because it's quite apt that we're here at Fe yeah. the Fed Ground, really, aren't we? Yeah. Listen rugby to league. Now, Fed Ground. I know I'm part of the crew now because the All Stars are the most inclusive, lovely people raising money for life for a kid. But that is what rugby league is all about, isn't it? It's, it is. I never were into it, but you're a proper fan. I'm a proper fan. I've got myself a new set of wheels. Yeah, yeah there we are. The Queen Capow. It goes with your face, hey, look. Well, well, I've got it because on front of it here it says medicating rusty bumper ointment. Can't get that feel for your bumper. <laughs> right, anyway. Look, <laughs> do you know then? When did rugby league get founded? I don't know. I don't know. So all oh. posh, yeah, all posh people down south East Fate rugby union, right. and then the Northern Rebels started it as a working right. class sport. Yeah, no, it started is. in Uddersfield. Rugby league. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's probably West Yorkshire. Yeah. yeah. I just didn't know the exact year. 1848 at the George Hotel. Just looked at your phone. Yeah, just, no, I am just not. I've been preparing again. Ah, she just looked at her phone. She hadn't got a clue, to be honest. She thought they were still playing with a round ball, idiot. <laughs> so, no, but anyway, <laughs> we're about to head inside. It's going to be an absolute blast of a day. People are going to be having fun. We're going to be having an auction, a raffle, buffet, disco. Oh, it's all going to be going on. Come on, let's go. Let's have go. some fun. Oh, woof. <laughs> I love you already, faggot. I know. You what? look like you've been playing. Huh? You look like you've been playing what about the kids. Oh, I know. <laughs> that looks better than normal. I don't know. What better place to celebrate the history of rugby league than Featherstone Rovers Millennium Ground? And of course, we're here for the Rugby League All Stars charity Life for a Kid event. Now this charity is awesome, they've raised millions of pounds for vulnerable children across the region and further afar. And today's no different, it's in collaboration with Little People UK and honestly it shows you what Rugby League is all about. Yeah it's about the shirts and the sport and all the, and all the competition but most of all it's about getting involved, family it's grassroots, down to earth, working class, and everything we hope sport should be. And of course, just like Danny and I, rough and ready. As patrons of the charity, we're honored again to host another event for them. And unfortunately for them, we brought all his kids, which pretty much filled out the whole stadium. But as well as that, there was lots of the local community as Fed Rovers also have an awesome foundation. And that's not forgetting all the other people who helped. Johnny who organised it along with Sam Marshall. And oh yes, it's Bumblebee. You can't beat a bit of cars, dancing, superheroes. There was face painting. And most of all, raising money for a great cause. And this is what Rugby League is all about. Even at the matches, they're cheap, cheerful, down to earth. And this is just what sport should be about. Not all the posh stuff. It's about families coming together, having a laugh and getting involved. Even with the cheesy dance moves. Regardless of your age, everyone got face painted for free. And you can't beat a good disco. Even Danny decided to show off his best dance moves and have a bit of a dance off with Bumblebee and our Athena as well as Jack. You can't beat a set of wheels as well from cars. You have to have a good vehicle and a bit of entertainment to keep everyone happy, even all those Insta photos. But as flashy as some of the touches were, most of all, it was about celebrating the community, all getting together, having a laugh, shoving paint on his faces, looking a bit silly and not taking ourselves too seriously. And what's best, with the auction, we also raised almost £1,000 on that day. It was our Danny who got me into rugby league. I'd never played before, but actually playing with the Rugby League All-Stars, even though I didn't have a clue what I was doing, 
was one of the most fun experiences of my life and I hope to do more sport, team sport, get everyone involved. It was an absolute blast. And of course, every party has to have a beige buffet. You can't beat it with some cheesy dance moves, a bit of hair macarena. So we'll start it off, us and a tenner. And lots of prize winning kids. 